Hi, Michael Thibault here with this week's edition of Mike's Marketing Minutes, done for you marketing systems. Thanks so much for stopping by this week. I hope you're having a great week, because I am, and I want to tell you why, because we just had a new Chick-fil-A open up like 10 minutes from where I live, right? Have you ever seen one of these or experienced a Chick-fil-A opening? This is the second one now uh, that they're opening in my area, and it's unbelievable. And let me tell you a little bit about uh, why that company is so successful. So uh, this one was crazy, and I'll show you some pictures that I took in a few minutes um, from that particular opening. But I wanted to really delve in and, and see why Chick-fil-A is such a successful company and what's driving it, and more specifically, their marketing strategy. But just some fun facts for you that I don't know if you knew about Chick-fil-A as a company as a whole. So it's a privately held company, and it's reported sales growth every single year since their first store opened in 1967. That's pretty impressive, even in a down economy. They have over 26 location, 2,600 locations uh, that does over $9 billion in sales annually. That's, that's B with a billion. Not bad for selling chicken sandwiches, huh? Uh, and they're also all closed on Sundays. Uh, they do this as part of their corporate culture, and they estimated that they lose about a billion dollars a year. Again, B with a billion a year in sales just for being closed on Sundays. Uh, also, the company will never go public. It's a privately held company, and they've said that from day one. They won't go public, and they have their reasons for that, and you can delve into it. Um, you know, if you're interested in finding out why. But it's also expected to become the third largest fast food chain here in the United States. Uh, so they are very much being aggressive um, and opening up locations. I remember we had three locations in Michigan like five years ago, and now they're up to 18. And location is very important, okay? And I'll talk about that in a second. But did you know it's easier to get into Harvard than it is to become an operator of a Chick-fil-A? They take very few people, and they call them operators or partners, uh, to operate and not necessarily own, uh, but they do have ownership in the individual locations, but the company really makes all the determining factors and pays for the real estate and the equipment. They have a very low uh, entry fee to get a Chick-fil-A, but they have a very stringent criteria and they take very, very few people and they have all these different things that you have to adhere to. So they're very selective about who can own and operate a Chick-fil-A location. Very, very interesting. So I read you know, the whole franchise agreement and they're pretty restrictive, but obviously it's working for them. And like I said, if you're interested in getting some more information on Chick-fil-A and their marketing strategies and techniques, I'm going to tell you about a few that I discovered. Uh, but there's a book written now. The, this gentleman's name is Steve Robinson, and he was their marketing director for 30 years. And he wrote a book called Covert Cows and Chick-fil-A. And he talks about his experience at Chick-fil-A, tells their story, and also some of their marketing strategies, again, which I'm going to share some that are in the book, but also some that that I've determined myself on why they're so successful, especially because of the one that just opened up. So this happened last week. They opened up a location on a very busy street um, here in Metro Detroit, uh, Michigan, and it's super cold out, right? But uh, they opened up, I think it was Tuesday of last week, I was driving by, and they had police on the street directing traffic and the system they had so you can see there's multiple lines uh huge parking lot like like i said location is important very very busy street um but they manage that process super well uh one of my team members tara says that uh somebody from chick-fil-a should run our government in the world because they do it so efficiently so that's obviously one of their secrets but the line literally wrapped around the part it was a Big parking lot, there's all different kinds of stores in there. This line snaked around the entire parking lot. You can see the lineup of cars, you can see a couple people there that are helping direct traffic. Unbelievable, right? I mean, you can't drive by and not notice what the heck is going on. And they're very good at pre-marketing before an opening as well. But I, I saw this and I'm like, and I actually talked to a few people, younger people, millennials, that waited in this line. I'm like, how long did you wait in line? Two hours in their car waiting for a chicken sandwich, okay? They're doing something right 
to be able to get people uh, to wait two hours in line in your car to get a chicken sandwich. Yeah, I don't understand it. Um, so that's why I was compelled to figure this out. So there's things that are applicable for your business that you can use from Chick-fil-A. Uh, talk to somebody that's waiting in line for a Chick-fil-A. Uh, they do, I've wrote about this before. Like I said, they do a very, very good job at their marketing and their customer service. And uh, so one of their marketing strategies that really is the foundation and the forefront of what they believe and their operating statement is high quality, personalized service, best in class hospitality, along with food that tastes great. That kind of sums it up in one sentence, right? And that's from their director of uh, hospitality. And uh, they do do an excellent job with their customer experience. They go beyond a customer uh, service, right? I mean, have you ever been to a Chick-fil-A? They always finish with my pleasure. And it's ingrained in the culture of their staff. That's one. That's a marketing strategy because uh, your staff is one of your best marketing tools for your business, okay? So you wanna know what your staff is saying and you wanna make sure they're adhering to your culture and your mission statement. Another thing they have is a specialized menu, right? They're not trying, now, you know my background, my story, I used to be a, a, I call myself a reformed restaurant owner, I owned restaurants for over 26 years. Um, I was guilty of it with a couple of my restaurants, uh, but I hate when I go into a restaurant and there's 230 things on the menu, right? You go to Chick-fil-A, what do you get? A chicken sandwich, their waffle fries, and those delicious shakes, okay? They have a specialized menu. They're known as the chicken sandwich specialist. That's a huge part of their marketing. And they have the cows, uh, but they don't try to do a million different things. Just to give you some uh, uh, insight into their competition, you go to McDonald's, there's a bunch of different things you can get at McDonald's. Not that you can't get chicken tenders and a, you know, a few other things also at Chick-fil-A, but their menu is not nearly as large as you find at some of their competitors for fast food. Uh, one of the things they do with their marketing is do the, the opposite of their competition. Okay, and this is an old marketing adage. Find out what your competitors are doing and do completely the opposite. Okay, they're uh, in that book, um, The Covert Cows, uh, the marketing director, Steve Robinson, references a $2 million mistake he made with their marketing. He went and copied their competitors' couponing and mailers' strategy and actually lost $2 million for the, for the company. So he knew right from then he had to do something a little different. That's what you need to do for your business. Uh, now, they also have something, uh, newsletter, okay, which I'm a huge proponent of. If you don't know that, we do uh, newsletters. Uh, but it's called the chicken wire. And this is great because this is a media that they control that they're able to tell their uh, story. And they do with, with local information. What's going around each individual local uh, franchise in the community. So it's not one that's you know uh, corporate wide. They actually get into each individual franchise in that individual community and location and write about that. But it's media that they control, that they can tell their story that's personalized and local. Great lesson, very powerful, because what that does is builds a relationship with their customers, and that's what you wanna do. They use multiple forms of media. They use print. They use different types of social media. They use Google. Uh, they do different promotions throughout the year. Another key of success for your business for marketing, use multiple forms of media. Also, don't be cheap. Don't be cheap with your marketing and new customer acquisition. Um, they spend over $63 million a year on marketing. That's the same budget Starbucks spends. Okay, so they, they know uh, he can afford to spend the most to acquire a customer wins. And just to give you an example, uh, if you're one of the first 100 people at the new store grand opening, they have a promotion where you can get um, a, a chicken sandwich for free every week of the year. All right, so that creates some buzz, that's some excitement. You can do something like that in your own business. And also, that's not boring. So don't be boring with your business or with your marketing, okay? So there's some great lessons from Chick-fil-A from my perspective and also from that book. So how can you use this in your marketing strategy? Well, I'll sum it up very quickly for you. Do the opposite of what your competition is doing. Be different. That's important. That's huge right now. Don't copy somebody else's 
bad advertising and marketing. Personalize your marketing for your customers. Tell your story as well, okay? And I'm a huge proponent, like I said, of newsletters and controlling your own media. Um, use multiple forms of media, digital, print, online, uh, communication in uh, four walls inside your business, be it a restaurant, auto repair shop, retail, whatever it is. But using multiple forms of media is how you're gonna be successful. Because in today's day and age, we just don't know how to reach our customers, what they're specifically using. They're not using one form of media and different target markets use different forms of media. And last but not least, please, like I said, don't be boring. Don't be boring with your business. Don't be boring with your marketing. Have some fun, okay? Nobody, for restaurants, nobody goes to a restaurant to be bored or just to have food. They want an experience. They want to have some fun, okay? And you can take a look. Um, one great fun promo is our no peaking promotion that's themed out uh, every month of the year. And there's a button right on the side of the page for uh, you can take a look and see what's featured for this month. But if you need help with any of your marketing or marketing strategies or uh, want to know how to improve your online presence and not be boring in your business. Simply click the button below and sign up for a free strategy session uh, and we can get on the phone for 30 minutes and analyze what you're doing. We'll do a bunch of work in, uh, before we even get on the call to see uh, what your competition is doing and what you're doing and what the different things that you can do to increase sales for your business. So sign up for a free strategy session now. We only do five of those a week, so you wanna make sure you jump on it and take advantage of it now. Do something good for your business. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.